Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Charlie. You're watching Bandap TV. Bandap TV. Bandap TV. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Well, it's Colin here from Band App. I'm here with Tom and Charlie from Narwhals. Fellas, how you doing? Very good. Very, very, good. very well. Thank like, you very slowly, much. Like, slowly, like, picking up now, you know what I mean? Like, the adrenaline after the set's banging, but then you're like, I kind of got pretty tired pretty quick, but I'm back up again. Yeah, I caught you guys, like, first thing today. We didn't have any interviews on for about an hour and a half. We got in early. See, so, yeah, it was amazing. Thank you. Really good songs, really good energy. I think the stage right. The crowd are really, really into it as well. I think they were especially into it. I think the stage it, left, right? probably, you know, kind yeah, of I think they kind of, in. Yeah, I think they didn't feel as... You know, like, when you, you kind of need people to get you going, you know, to, yeah, like, people to yeah. stop. It didn't seem like there was as many people starting it yeah. as it was on that side. Yeah, yeah. It has to be at least one instigator in every pit, right? <laughs> and also, it's a long exactly. way round, isn't it? It's the long way round, <laughs> yeah. that bit. You can just, yeah. that's a little, you just yeah. go there. Like. We've got the fuel, we needed the spark. That was all it was. So last year you guys played the lock-up stage. Yeah, that was for well So a little bit of a difference. Uh, yeah. how, how was that? Because if I'm honest, you know, I know it's very easy for some fans to take for granted, but you guys today, you just had such an energy about you. Like, you know, like, you know, just genuinely pleased to be there and having a really good time. Yeah. And it really came across, which is, oh, cool. you know, it's really nice to see, if I'm honest, rather than just trying to be all too cool for school. It was just like, <laughs> have a great time and all that kind of thing. So yeah, how, how are you kind of feeling with the changes from the lockup last year? It's all like, it's quite, I keep saying it today, overwhelming really, isn't it? Because it's, it's, it's not something that necessarily within the scene that we were part, we were a part of yeah. really happens. And like, so everything that happens, even from the lockup last year, was a surprise. So each surprise is like a new, I, I don't know. But yeah, we were, we were just as nervous as we were last year as we were this year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the only thing that was different was the size, really. Yeah. And, you know, the couple of flags that they kept these girls yeah. have done. Like, there's like a crew flag and like yeah. an Oh Brave New World flag. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It was isn't cool. It? That, that there's some good singing along going on as well. You know, yeah. you dropped out for that bit and everybody kind of filled the gas. That song was so, well, yeah, I, I stopped for a song and everyone was just like. Ah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, boy. Like I said, overwhelming, isn't it? You see, they're all kind of soaking it in throughout the day and like, oh, wait a minute, that happened as well. And like, oh. Wild, oh, amazing. Hilarious. So you guys just come out from Europe, I believe. Yeah, it was great. Stuff down there. I believe there was a Blink 182 show that happened there. <laughs> Most certainly was. How the hell was that? Uh, very, very strange. Yeah. Um, in a good way, or it was, it was amazing. Like the crowd were really receptive, and like uh, there was a really nice vibe and a big energy because I think everyone was like really itching to see Blink 182. Yeah. And then at the same time, there's this whole like big rock star thing going on, like oh, right, which was okay. interesting. We weren't allowed to go near them, and like oh okay. Although we were trying to go we near them, away. <laughs> but we all warned away. I know what you mean. Yeah. I think it was the whole like, not let's not worry about Blink, you know. Let's just do a show, yeah. have a good yeah. time. You know, gain a, gain a little bit of experience for this show, yeah. for, the, for the main stage show. You know, like gain a little bit of experience. Yeah. It was a big stage. Like we haven't, we haven't been, we are not used to big stages yet. You know what I mean? We played, we played, I hit the deck festival, and that was a big stage. But you know, like it's getting used to it. So that blink show was a great warm up. So I thought, you know, it's just saying it was good today. You know, you filled the stage nicely, and you know, good banter. That's all I have to say. Good banter. <laughs> It's all about so, the banter. Exactly. <laughs> if, if, if it was bloody an eighth of that crowd, I'd still be like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> still so, be like, cheers. So you guys are off to the US soon, aren't you? It's a story so Next far in the Wonder Years. October, <laughs> man. Oh, how are you feeling about that? It's exciting times. Nervous again. Just more things to get nervous about all the time. <laughs> no. It's our first US. Like, you need first to start getting up in the morning right? and going, do you know what? This is just going to be great. Forget about the nerves. No, but nerves are good, I think. I think mean, living yeah. life on the on the edge is quite nice. Yeah. Living on the fringe, a fringe existence is quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the first time going over to America for me as a holiday as well, you know? Yeah. So it's going to be the best thing. And I think my nerves might even be missed by the fun, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm going to be looking at everything, like, I'm going to be so into it that I'll probably just forget, like, <laughs> hopefully, that's what I'm It's open. always important to try and digest the stuff, I think. Yeah, definitely. when you look back and you go, shit, that was a, you know, really fast amount of time, went really quick, so, uh, it's always good to do. Big stop. The capacity yeah, shows are big, like, I think the last show on the tour is going to be, like, 2,500. That's good. It's ranging from about 600 to, to that. Well, that's good. It's actually yeah. our biggest tour we've ever done, and it's yeah. in America. It's kind yeah. of weird. That'd be awesome, though, wouldn't it? Yeah. It's good club shows. Kids have been to it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, fantastic. Right? It'd be fun as okay. well. So, um, <coughs> dream band, dream headline, festival style. Yeah. Three bands. What do you reckon? Three bands to headline. What? Yeah. This size, or can we go any size? Any size you like. Any band you like. If it was your dream lineup. I'd like to have the Get Up Kids. 
Good um, call. I'd like to have. I wouldn't mind like an Iggy in the Studios, like oh, yeah. back in the day, Iggy in the Studios yeah. would be pretty fun. And like maybe, ah, uh, bollocks it, no effects or something. That'd be oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. It's I like stuff. I could do it quickly, but it would just be the, just a grunge lineup. So I'm gonna <laughs> go Pantera with Dimebag. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, <laughs> Soundgarden. Yep. Yeah. But we're talking super unknown and before. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I saw them do we're that. With time back to space, front. right? I wasn't too into the last record. Last was... year they did that back to front. Super. Un... I yeah. saw it with Black Sabbath the other day. Wow. It was amazing. I bet. And um, Pennywise. Because ah. I haven't seen them yet, man. All oh, right. They're the, they're the only band that we haven't played with or like seen in that kind of big skip spectrum, yeah, innit? Most of the bands that like we really love growing up with and like Punkaramas, we just played with like in the past like four weeks. It's yeah. Quite, it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, we did like the Yeah, all right. Oh, the festival of dreams, man. Yeah, I bet. Lagwagon, no effects, Bane, uh, Authority oh, Zero. Bane, yeah. Uh, it's so, so <laughs> good, man. Stuff, man. They yeah. were like really sick. Like, they came up to us after the yeah, set and was like, nice guys. Yo, do you want to yeah, do a T-Swap? So nice. I was like, yeah. <laughs> They're really good guys. So, yeah, good call. So, Quality. last question. Yeah. Top tips or anything like that that you maybe want to give to aspiring bands? You are the one with the tips, man. <laughs> we are the aspiring bands. You're not band. asking me, I'm asking you. <laughs> you guys are living the dream for well, a lot of people. Yeah, you, know, you know, if you think about how Punk's only really kind of coming around again, particularly in the UK. There's not really been much of a scene. No, it's you true. Know, well, um, no, there has been a scene, but it's been mostly unnoticed. Well, exactly, that's what I'm saying. But you guys are kind of bringing it out a little bit more into the open. So, you know, I've Maybe got a couple what? of friends of mine, they're playing like old school kind of brand seed, Operation Ivy type punk rock. You know, they're amazing, but they're really kind of struggling. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, at that, look, at that sort of level, it's a difficult kind of thing to break into. So, you know. You know, you guys have just right. played go, go, to, stage, go, you know? go to shows. Yeah, don't yeah. be one of those guys that's always asking to play a show and isn't going to any shows. Yeah. Like, no one's going to ever friends. put you on. Go to a show, make friends, get DIY, yeah. you know, be a punk about things. Don't be a flipping idiot. Like, yeah. you don't have to have a promo picture because you're in a band. You don't yeah. have to do these things. Gig, can, gigs first. Go and play gigs. Else. Go yeah. and play shows and enjoy live music. And learn to be a band. Learn to learn to play together and like work it out and experience just as a like as a free piece. For playing shows, we've just learned how to be a band. Yeah. And then do all those other little bits after. Find your manager later on. Find yeah, a little. Don't, don't you know, find him. He'll find you. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's what managers exactly. do. They're, they're attached to walls and shit. They and also the same thing. Like going to a show, you meet people at a show. For for all you know, you can meet this guy. He's bloody got a label. Yeah. That's how it happened with us. Like, yeah, they're just, our, just, just our mates. Just it? our mates that we know from gigs and stuff. And go like, and make some mates and go and learn how to play guitar. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Well, thank you so much, guys. Really yeah, good to chat with you. Really and some, it, uh, yeah. some good insight. Yeah, Thanks a lot. You too, man. Absolute pleasure to meet you. You too, guys. Do you mind?